Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In past videos, I've mentioned that I have a metadata preset. My metadata preset contains my name, address, and all my copyright info. And whenever I import images into Lightroom, this metadata preset gets applied to every image. Well, I've had some requests to demonstrate how to create a metadata preset, and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Okay, to create your metadata preset, you only have to do it once. Uh, we're in the library module, and what you wanna do is go up to the metadata tab, and then you wanna go to edit metadata presets and this dialog box pops up. Now I mentioned I already have one. If I click on the uh, drop down, you could see there's one that I called it import preset, but we're gonna create a new one, all right? And mainly if you just want to make sure that each image has your name, address, and copyright info, you're going to wanna go down to IPTC copyright and IPTC creator. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, put that info here. The copyright holder is me. The copyright status is a little drop down, and I'm going to put copyrighted. Now, if you're creating images to share in the public domain, you would probably prefer to use public domain. And um, rights, usage, terms, all rights reserved. You could write whatever you want there. That's what I put there. And copyright URL. I actually have on my anthonymorganti.com website a web page that explains my copyright, and it's right there. Now, for the IPTC creator, you fill out all these fields, and what I'll do is I'll fill, I'll fill these fields out, but I'll have the video pause so you don't have to sit through it, and when we come back, I'll have this all done. All right, I filled out the fields here. You can see I put my name and address. I left off my phone number only because I don't want anyone calling me for whatever reason, so I have all that other info there. So now that we have this filled out, I just want to make sure that you understand that, that you aren't limited to that. Uh, you could go in and fill other things out as well if it applies to you. Uh, if you're doing video, there's a section here for video and whatnot here. So you may want to fill all that out. So I have this filled out. Now I need to give this pre, I need to create this as a preset and give it a name. So we'll go to the drop down. And we're going to go to save current settings as a preset. And this is, um, I'll call it my copyright info. All right, we'll call it that. And we're going to click create. And then now whenever I import images, I will make sure that this copyright preset for metadata gets applied to each image. So I'm going to click done. Now I just have a... a memory card in my computer right now and let's go through importing images so we'll click on import and it's only a couple images i took of two of our cats that i don't plan on keeping but um, they're there nonetheless so i could do this demonstration now what we need to do is go to the right hand side and down here uh, where it says apply during import you can see there's develop settings. That is a preset that you would have for developing your image. I don't do that. Most people don't that I know of at least. But we want to go to metadata and we'll click there and you could see that that preset we created, my copyright info is there. So I could do that um, and I'm going to put it in a folder and I'm just going to call it temp only because I don't plan on keeping these images. These aren't images that I'm proud of or anything. I just uh, created them uh, for this uh, demonstration. So what we're going to do is go back up here. So they're going to be in a temp folder, which is right there. Okay, now we'll click import. And it's going to import those images. And uh, you'll see once they're imported that I'll click on one. And we'll go over here to the right where it has a metadata. And you'll see that down here, it has all that info already there. It has my name, uh, my title, my address, and those other uh, websites that I put in there with the website with my copyright info, and all that is in there as well. So um, we're all good to go. It's all there, as you could see. So that's very easily how you create this metadata preset. And then whenever you import images into Lightroom, 
you would use that preset or have that preset applied to each of your images so you make sure that those raw files contain your personal copyright information. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>